I'm going left. More fish on the left. Carp cowboys is what they kind of label us. Someone stuck that <laughs> moniker on us. So I guess we go with it. <laughs> We're removing Asian carp to try to keep them out of the Great Lakes. We're downstream the Great Lakes quite a ways here. So they like to feed on all the little microscopic stuff that uh, all native fry feed on during their early life cycles. The more of these we can get out and keep them out of the Great Lakes, the better off we're going to be. Many people know them by Asian carp. We call them invasive carp. I'm Kevin Irons, recently retired from Illinois Department of Natural Resources as the Assistant Fish Chief. The numbers are, you know, they could be 30 to 80 percent of the total biomass of any stretch of water, so this is a big deal. We don't want them in a new environment. We don't know if eradication is possible, but we certainly have, have demonstrated we can reduce their numbers. Every week or two, we fish with, with the crew about six commercial fishermen. Soaking me! Ow! Right ahead! They are really our carp cowboys, driving the fish, herding the fish. You'll hear banging on boats, all of that is to get them to, to move. And one thing you'll notice, you'll see these fish jump. Silver carp are known for the jumping. So from all the nets, you get about 10,000 pounds of fish here today. And in a year, yeah. we'll take a million pounds out, which is, you know, 25 truckloads semi truckloads of fish. Overall, there are two ways that we um, approach this issue. We have the non-structural. That is actually doing the lion's share of the work by removing the targets from the water. And then we have the structural stuff, the, the brick and mortar up in Romeoville. There's four electric redundant barriers that prevent fish from voluntarily moving closer to Lake Michigan. An additional project near Brandon Road is, is looking for increased deterrence, and that lock and dam provides just one pathway through the lock where fish, boats, or anything can go upstream and downstream. There's a $7 billion fishery for salmon, lake trout, and some of our native fish in, in the Great Lakes, and we really don't want to challenge that. We want to keep the fish where they are and reduce the numbers where they are. My name is Jason Smith. I'm a senior project manager with the Army Corps of Engineers of Rock Island District. Brandon Road will be installing a variety of features. There's a bubble deterrent system or a bubble curtain. They view it as a wall or a barrier, a physical barrier, and so that they do not even attempt to go through that. As you progressively move upstream, we run into a hydroacoustic that is underwater speakers. The noise is uh, prohibitive for the fish and then electric deterrent feature. If they get through all of those features, the flushing lock then empties the chamber and it washes all that water and uh, those larvae downstream. There are over 170, 180 different invasive species in the Great Lakes. We don't want one more. So we have to do these types of things and be aggressive to keep them from going from basin to basin to protect the Great Lakes we love, one of the greatest freshwater uh, bodies in the world.